Hi guys, welcome to my channel SAP Lobby. Hope uh, you are doing well. Today we will discuss on the SAP automatic batch assignment in the production order. So in past uh, I was uploaded a video on the automatic batch determination. So that is for the component of the production order. So if your uh, component uh, are batch managed, so how Oh, system can uh, uh, system can help to assign the batch automatically to the reservation of the uh, component uh, during uh, release or release of production order okay so if you did not go through that video i will give the link of uh, that video in the description please go through that so today uh, this topic is automatic batch assignment in the production order and this is for the manufactured material like for uh, finish or semi finish material so before we uh, discuss on the uh, required parameters and uh, uh, why do we need the automatic batch assignment let me give the overview of uh, batch management so batch management is generally help to generate a batch and that is the Ident, uh, unique number uh, being assigned to a bunch of uh, product which have the similar uh, characteristic or similar characteristic and that this batch number help to do the traceability in the future okay so if any you got any customer complaint or any issue if you want to trace the production details so this batch number can be used and this batch also assigned to inventory of the material inventory of the material okay so this is the overview of the batch management now now let me talk about why do we need the automatic uh, batch assignment so when you create a production order and your material is batch managed so in that case if you want to assign the material so if you, are, you you will not use the automatic batch assignment then you have to create the batch um, batch master data manually okay so there you need the uh, additional effort to create the batch second there might be the chance of user mistake in assigning the wrong batch in assign of, in assigning the batch so there might be wrong batch might be assigned to the product okay so this automatic batch assignment help to avoid that uh, manual of effort in creating the uh, uh, batch master data second so it will also help to avoid the user mistake during assignment okay so obviously and at the uh, so it will also help to avoid any delay in the production okay so this is the uh, uh, so this is the reason for being the have the automatic batch assignment okay now there are uh, you can do the automatic batch assignment either uh, during creation of production order or during release of production production order then batch you can create with classification without classification so if you create the batch without uh, classification so in that case only your metal master should be activated with batch management and it should have the production schedule profile where automatic batch determination should be activated okay second suppose you want to create the batch with classification so in that case you should uh, there should be the characteristic and characteristic should be assigned to a class so class type for batch is 023 so and that class should be assigned to the material so, and that material should have also production scheduling profile with automatic batch determination batch creation okay and that uh, that has, oh, and the batch management should be activated for that material okay so these are the required uh, parameter for the batch classification okay now let me go to sap so here let me relog in okay. 
so let me go to the spro in spro if you go to the production and here supplier control then your master data and here your production scheduling profile so now i have created one uh, scheduling profile so this is the look at this is the scheduling profile i have created okay so here if you look at this is batch management so this is batch management uh, parameter uh, parameter here automatic batch creation in order you can create the automatic batch during creation of product order also a or during release of product order so based on the requirement you can select the option okay then here batch classification so this batch classification extended classification these will be required and useful when you consume that batch suppose you uh, produce a material with particular batch number and you want to use uh, that uh, batch in uh, during uh, some other for some other transaction okay so during uh, and that batch is classified batch with classification and some characteristic so if you use this batch classification system can able to choose your batch based on your uh, characteristics values okay and uh, it will be help to consume so it batch classification basically will be useful when you consume the batch okay now we will go to the metal master so if i go to this metal master in the work scheduling view i think my system get uh, stuck up let me relog in okay so i'll go to the metal master material okay work scheduling view so here first this batch management should be activated and that production scheduling profile should be assigned here okay if your met, uh, batch you want to create with classification then we have to go to the classification view okay and batch type is uh, 023 okay here that class need to be uh, assigned and that class suppose i created this characteristics okay so if i go to this class cell 03 okay so if look at i have assigned this uh, characteristics okay so this as uh, first in this case of classification you uh, you need to create this characteristic first in city transaction city 04 okay then we have to assign this characteristics to this class in the uh, transaction cl01 or cl02 as yes, cl so during either you are, you can assign during creation of class or during in uh, edit okay in that in cl02 transaction okay and then this class need to assign to this metal master in this um, mmg either during creation or uh, during mm02 okay and then now if i suppose let me first try with batch so there are i i was created one more uh, material like uh, where will i will not use the class so this is one of the material okay so if you look at there is a no classification okay so now if i create the uh, product order for this one if i go here and plant i will give the plant okay plant 
order type so suppose I will give the quantity 2 so for now I will say current date ok so now if you look at because in my scheduling production schedule profile I uh, activated the auto release ok so if I release so if you look at the status batch assignment is complete B A C B A S C batch assignment complete order to be in handle batch because my uh, material is batch managed so it is giving the status will be updated ok now if I go and check see this is the batch automatic created ok and if I save it I save so this is my production order ok so now if I do the uh, good receipt again this product order ok so if I go me go here if I do this one ok so here if you look at see this batch tab came here so which is which batch we created that batch can come here ok now if I save this one ok and I will check if any ok so here we have to assign the date of production so suppose I will assign today's date 20th ok and post it ok so now this uh, is this is created so if I go to see the uh, stock of this uh, material so for uh, for test case i i did not uh, did, did the any confirmation products not because our topic is only for uh, batch assignment so i just directly i did the good receipt technician product order okay so if you look at now we received two pieces of uh, this material with this batch 717 okay and uh, if I will go and see the metal movement see this is for today's date and this is our uh, good receipt document ok now this is this is created without any classification so if I go and uh, check so transaction is for uh, for, uh, for batch master data transaction is this one ok so this one and uh, here 717 ok so here msc 3n So, so this batch master is created automatically so now the here no classification because I don't have assigned any classification ok now we will check another uh, material with classification so if I create for other one ok so this product suppose here also I will give the two pieces and uh, if I choose this one so here it navigate to the class ok so here I will assign the uh, what is my uh, classification uh, navigate to the uh, classification so if I choose ok and uh, then wait suppose I choose 10 ok so I will go back release carried out so if I go and check see batch has created ok now I will save it 
so here also if you see so same status like uh, uh, batch assignment uh, complete and order to be handled in batches okay this two status updated bsc and bcrq okay now if i do the good uh, if i uh, receive the material against this product order let me go to the migo okay. here so i got this one okay to quantity so if uh, went to the classes already we have updated there okay now if i save it okay check okay so i will give the date today's date okay so check okay now i will post it so it is now posted if i go and check the uh, stock of this material page class okay and i will remove this one okay and then if i check see this material 718 so and if i check the master data for this one so if i go and check here master data okay it is 718 okay so if i go and check see this is the classification okay so this is the automatic this is about the automatic batch assignment with classification without classification okay hope uh, you um, understood the uh, process if you have any comment please let me know in comment box so that uh, i will try to address those uh, 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 queries okay and uh, please like share and uh, subscribe my channel thank you for watching